Last night, for the hundredth time, I slept on this deserted island. Today, I woke up the miracle. The merchant had said, there is only one possible place for a fugitive like you. This uninhibited island, built around 1924 and then abandoned. But anywhere, the world is an impeccable hell for fugitives. Only the vegetation seemed abundant. The plants overtake each other with urgency, with more urgency to be born than to die. Now the grassy hillside has become crowded with people who dance, stroll up and down and swim in the pool as if this was a summer resort. I believe they did not even see me. But here I am, without provisions, hidden in the smallest, least habitable part of the island. She is one of these people. From my hiding place, I watch her watching the sunset every afternoon. There are no hallucinations or imaginings here. I know these people are real. At least as real as I am. The following day, two moons and two suns were visible. Probably they were kind of mirage. Finally, I had proof that my relationship with the intruders was a relationship between beings on different planes. Reality now appears to be changed, unreal. It occurs to me that these people were never concerned with me at all. To the person who nails his diary and then invents a machine that can assemble these joint presences, I make this request. Find them and me. Let me enter the heaven of their consciousness. It will be an act of pity.